A simple plywood shack would have sufficed, but Brett Hebink had something else in mind. Dr. Seuss-like, I would say. Uh, just steep pitch, 12 feet tall. His outhouse has cedar shingles, a front flower basket, and it's as curvy and fun as the mountain bike trails in Carcross. I wanted to do something different and unique, and I was just looking for some ideas and make it functional and spacey. The second one was made by Sean Mather. His is more modernist. It's got a tin roof, cedar post and beam construction, and a few extra details, like bike gears built in. So I came up with a design and thought I'd better put a bit of love into it because uh, we're all bikers in my family and we, our friends are bikers. So I did it weekends and then I dedicated quite a number of days. <laughs> Both outhouses are being brought to Carcross today. The two contractors are avid mountain bikers and donated their time. The materials were donated too by Kilrich Industries in Whitehorse. The bike trails were built by young people in Carcross. They now welcome about 3,000 mountain bikers every summer. Philippe Morin, CBC News, Whitehorse.